Today, we're hearing from the cab driver who survived being shot at this gas station. The security camera capturing the vicious moment when an armed robber shot him right there at the pump over the weekend. Local 10's Terrell Fournay is live with his survival story. Terrell. And Lori, this was quite an unfortunate incident, but the victim in this case is very thankful because he has his life. That bullet actually missed the major bone in his leg, but that incident, as you are about to see, was all caught on tape. As soon as Jose Pena returns to his yellow cab early Sunday morning, a gun wielding thief is seen darting across the gas station parking lot to confront the frightened 40 year old. When he called me, uh, uh, for me, I tried the no going with him in the taxi. Today, from his hospital bed, Jose tells us he tussled with the bad guy to avoid being pushed into the taxi and to stay in plain sight where surveillance cameras and passerbys could catch the crime go down. I want to know everybody know what happened this night. But Jose did not resist the armed robber's demands for money. Still, the gun was fired, and the father of three was shot in the leg. The crook runs off as Jose hobbles inside of the shop at Northwest 28th Street and 12th Avenue to get help, ironically, all on his birthday. I think only, um, and I say, God, please give me one opportunity more with my family. The gift of life is what Jose is now celebrating while surrounded by his family. Multiple surgeries from that debilitating gunshot wound are now on the horizon. The arteries actually were, were intact. The nerves we're still worried about and we have yet to see if he's going to recuperate from a nervous perspective and be able to, to walk and function properly. Jose is now focused on a speedy recovery and you may not believe why. Will you go back to work? Yeah. When I say ready, I go back. And he says he's ready to head back to work, obviously, when he's feeling much better, uh, all to support his family. But as you can tell, he is certainly in good spirits and not in a lot of pain. He was actually preparing to be willed up for another surgery uh, right when we were uh, speaking with him earlier. But Miami police are still looking for two people responsible, that gunman and the driver of a getaway car last seen driving away in an older model Nissan. If you have any information, of course, give police a call. We are live in Miami. I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.